Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market's been open for one minute. I didn't think I was gonna make a video and then looking around, seeing like there's some interesting opportunity out there. Uh, so figured, you know what, why not uh, try to make a video and we'll see what happens. I should note these are live videos in the sense of this is not a voiceover, this is not everything being recorded. And then, me and, and then me coming and talking about it, you're getting my raw thoughts, my raw emotions as things play out here. So like I said, the market just opened up. Watch, right now I'm watching a TIF, just trying to let various stocks around the market give me a little bit of context and so on. Uh, but as of now, watching TIF, but uh, we'll see if anything else arises. Currently watching BA here, Boeing, 160.50 is a level that uh, is very interesting from other time frames. Uh, unfortunately though, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to take it on this candle uh, just because it's a bit bit much right now. So I might get left in its dust, but in my opinion, this would totally be chasing. Uh, but 160.50 has been, oh, yep, and maybe leaving me in its dust. But that just did not fit my risk profile. I don't think that's really a, a good entry point given the context surrounding it. Uh, and you can see right here, I alerted it. For, if you're not familiar at claycharter.com, I do offer a private community where I make alerts. And right there was that alert of uh, about 160.50 being that key support. And uh, you can see that it broke and yeah, went down quite a bit, uh, which from the shorting perspective, ah, oh, <laughs> look at it go. Oh, well, like you said, I feel it's frustrating, sure. But I mean, I, I played it the right way. It was just, it was already too overextended by the time it got down there. Um, so disappointing to see it just continue to, to fall and fall. But I am interested now in any sort of a potential you know bounce back area. So if it wants to show me some signs of strength and then symbolize that maybe that strength is running weak, then uh, you know I would still be interested in a potential trade on it. Uh, so we'll see if that can occur or not. So here we got a nice little bounce here. So 159.50, well, let's see how this candle closes. And then maybe we can get some sort of trade on it. Blake said, wanna see how this candle closes first, but uh, okay, there we go, good. I mean, if it wants to come back up above 160.50, I might be interested in just playing the back test right there. In fact, I will do that, 160. Try for some at 160.75 if it wants to back test some more. At least on this candle, but this candle will be wrapping up here pretty soon. Um, in the next minute, we'll start. There we go. So let's see, 160.50. Well, that is at uh, one, oh, 60 exactly. Okay, so I like 160 here if it, if the price decides it wants to come back down there, unless it wants to come up there and test and hit me at uh, 160.75. Actually, I just noticed something. That should be 160.85. So let's see if it wants to fill me at 160.85. Went up as high as 160.81, so I was four cents away. Let's give it another chance to get up there. There we go, all right, in at 160.85. And we'll see if this wants to roll back over here a little bit. If it can get down below 160.50, I'll think about taking some profits. So took out 200 at 160.50. Let's see if we can get some more of a pullback here. So took out another 100 at 160.25. Let's see if we can get a move so this could still potentially be a losing trade, maybe, because I still have 200 shares that I could ultimately maybe sell for a loss if this thing bounces against me, but it's well worth it to take that risk because it's, it's such a minimal risk now in the, with the idea of this thing continuing to roll over. I mean, yeah, if this thing can break 160, there should be a nice party underway. So I wanna see if, there we go. Let's see if we can get some more follow through of 160. 
Well, that was not exactly the follow through I was looking for, but I want to give it another chance. So there we go, took out another 100 at 159.90. Uh, Let's see, lows are down here. So yeah, I think this thing's got a chance to get down to 159.50. So let's see if this thing wants to roll over some more here. Pick up some more downside momentum. All right, just took out another 50 here just because it's looking like, oh, it might want to bounce, and there is the bounce. So I'm glad I pulled off 50 down there, but that could just be a head fake. So if this goes up over 161, um, then I'll be getting out with a, a slight loss on these final 50 shares. So again, on the last 50 shares I have, I could be taking a loss on them because I got in at 160.85. But again, I wanna see if this thing wants to actually show some more downside pressure and it is rolling back over now. I'm still glad I took off those 50 when I did because that could have been the start of a, of a bigger bounce. Uh, in hindsight, looking like it wasn't, it was just a little head fake there. But uh, yeah, 159.80, gonna be that key point that needs to be broken down below. But as of right now, this is a very stressless trade. I'm not stressed out at all. I mean, it's gonna be a winning trade. The only stress on my mind right now is, well, how, how big of a winning trade is it gonna be? In other words, how much money am I gonna make? Think about that, that that's a great spot to be in as a trader where your only worry is, how much money am I gonna make? So really, the, all I'm wondering is can one, there we go, 159.80 be broke? And it was almost broke, there we go, there's the break of it. said would like to see it get down to 159.50 but that fast up it goes <clears throat> excuse me but let's see if it can get down to 159.50 and then get that break and it's very easy to sit here and be patient to see if that break happens I mean when you know it's going to be a winning trade just how big of a winning trade okay it's approaching 159.50 like I was saying a few moments ago, I like the chance of it at least getting down here. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna behave when it gets down to 159.50. I'd like to think it'll fail, but I don't know that for sure. So yes, in hindsight, that little bounce there kind of, there we go, there's the break. Kind of spooked me out, but I still feel fine about that because that could have been the start of a bigger bounce. And yeah, we could be getting a, maybe a double bottom here. But let's see, give it another chance here. All right. Oh, it wasn't even fast enough to get out right there. Well, maybe that, uh, I'm just, wow. This thing is <laughs> not letting me out now. All right. There we go. So all out there for $304, not bad at all for uh, basically five minutes of work. And I say five minutes, that's coming from, if you're not familiar with my screen, got in right there at 9.36 and that would, I kind of covered it up right there. 9.36 and 31 seconds, got out at 9.41 and 35 seconds. So yeah, basically five minutes right there, $300. I'm very happy with that. Uh, but a nice, very straightforward trade. Played the back test, let the thing breathe, let the thing show me some strength and then rolled back over in my favor and that worked out very nicely. All right, so Tesla's looking interesting here and I wanna get my thought documented. 361 flush point as the one minute is looking top heavy. So 361 is gonna be that area that I'm watching for a potential uh, short location. If it wants to come back down, maybe it doesn't. 50. So we'll see if it does wanna come back down to that 361 mark. Again, I think this is looking a little bit top heavy here. Could be wrong, which is why confirmation is important. Yeah, if it does want to come down here. 
of 363.25. Let's see if this thing wants to continue on up. All right, well, I'll go ahead and pause and I'll keep an eye on 361, seeing if it wants to come into play here. Um, I'm not gonna take it on this candle though. So if, it, if uh, this particular candle during this one minute session breaks down through 361, uh, you know, for me, just not gonna take it. I don't feel comfortable with that. But if on the next candle it wants to break down through it, I would like that quite a bit. So right now it's really just a question of can this candle hold up or is it gonna ultimately break down through 361 um, on this candle, who knows, maybe never break through it at all, but that's the current game plan. I'll go ahead and pause for the time being. All right, well, it's nearing that area and unfortunately looking like it might leave me in its dust. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that, and then the next candle started. Did it literally at the last second. Literally, you have to. you might have to scroll back, but as soon as it broke, you'll see this next candle started forming, meaning that that minute was over. <laughs> but it literally did it I, like a second, two seconds beforehand. Well, that's disappointing. Shoot. That's why I do like doing these live because, I mean, you just never know what's going to quite happen. And again, this was alert. Oh, wait, you saw me make the alert. Yeah, that's right. I typed it up on screen. So you saw me make that alert. So this is not any sort of hindsight. This is just... Uh, this is real life live raw trading. Sometimes things like that happen where uh, quite literally the candle that I didn't want to take it on one second, two seconds maybe before it switched to the next candle where I would have been okay, it broke down through the level. Sometimes, you know, the market has a, has a cruel sense of humor at times. So, and all you can really do is you, you don't want to get upset about it. You don't want to get frustrated about it. Just laugh at yourself, laugh at the situation. That was, that was pretty comical the way that worked out. But all right, well, it's 9.52 and I definitely wanna move on. With, I, I don't feel like sitting in front of my computer all day and uh, I'll, I'll definitely wanna be done by 10 o'clock. So 30 minutes would be fantastic. I don't know, I might even wrap things up right now, but not, not quite. I'll, I'll look around a little bit, see if there's anything else out there, but maybe that was the market's kind of signal of Clay. You're, you're good for the day. You made $300 in like five minutes. Just, just be grateful for that. Uh, so who knows, but uh, I'll look around, and give it a few more minutes. Well, it is officially, whoops, it is officially 10 a.m. on the dot, and I'm just gonna close right there at 3.04. As you saw, I tried to make another trade on Tesla, but it just didn't quite cooperate uh, to the tune of basically a second, a couple seconds, but it is what it is. So 30 minutes in and up $304. I'm not very familiar with many places in the world where you can make $300 in 30 minutes. Uh, granted, the $300 came from five minutes worth of time, but still, I was sitting around my computer, you know, paying attention. So overall, though, I am going to go ahead and wrap things up from that point of view. Now, if you're interested in getting the alerts that you saw play out here, uh, then go to claychart.com forward slash team. And really, the way to go about that is the pricing structure right here. We'll use nine. $99, not per month. Let me say that again, not per month, but per three months. So $99 every three months with breaks down to $8.25 per week. So really the question becomes, do I believe if I invest in $99, I can get at least $8.25 per week of value? If you think you can get at least $8.25 per week of value, then you'll definitely get a great return on your investment. And when you saw right there, that Tesla trade would have very, very, very realistically paid for uh, the, the $99, right? That would, and that was just one single trade in about a, a five minute session there. There is also a mobile app, so you don't have to stay, change your computer or anything like that. And then as far as this particular video is concerned, if you enjoy the live trade videos, if you like these, then a very time efficient and a very quick way to communicate that to me, just hit that like button. Also comments, questions, suggestions, leave those down below. I do read and reply to all comments. And then finally, if you like the channel as a whole, so check out the channel. There's lots of other live trade videos. There's a variety of educational type videos on the channel but check out the channel and hopefully you like what you see enough to hit that subscribe button as I'd love to have you as a subscriber, subscriber to the channel. But like I said, if you enjoyed the live trade video, if you enjoy these videos, just hit that like button. And then also like I said, if you wanna trade alongside me, get those alerts that you saw play out here, just go to claytrader.com forward slash team. So thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me 
unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.